12 near Minot Saturday when his car crossed the center line and struck another vehicle head on. Carlton died on impact and was pronounced dead at the scene. Two people in the other vehicle survived the crash and were taken to a Minot area hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Carlton had traveled to the Canadian border and was returning home from a delivery trip to North Dakota and Montana at the time of the crash. Randy Carlton is survived by his wife Cheryl of Rapid City and funeral services are scheduled for 11 a.m. on Tuesday at Destiny Foursquare Church in Rapid City. Your commute could be changing tomorrow morning. Drivers in Rapid City are being asked to prepare for a shift in traffic on Mount Rushmore Road. The Mount Rushmore Road and Cathedral Drive intersection is changing beginning tomorrow morning until approximately Monday, September 28th. Traffic will be reduced to one lane. Traveling westbound on Cathedral Drive to the Rush Rushmore Road intersection and there will be no separate turn lanes. Drivers heading northwest and south will all come from the single lane. There will be heavy traffic at this intersection and drivers should expect delays. Mayor Steve Allender is making a proclamation this upcoming week. He's calling it Homes for Heroes Week. The proclamation references Homes for Heroes, which is a nationally recognized program honoring military personnel, firefighters, educators, and health care. Professionals are offering rebates and discounts to those heroes by buying or selling a home. It's a great program geared to give back to the individuals that serve the community every day. Cabela's is teaming up with the National Rifle Association. They're hosting an in-store NRA weekend at the Rapid City location. Over the weekend, the annual event features an NRA membership drive and in-store product demonstrations. Everyone who joined or renewed a $35 or greater annual NRA membership during the weekend received a $25 Cabela's gift card. Hunters, anglers, and trappers in the South Dakota will now have an additional option to carry their hunting licenses. The South Dakota Game Fish and Parks Department is debuting an option that allows people to have their small game fishing or trapping license scanned directly from their smartphone. Wildlife officials say people logging into their account through the department's online licensing system will notice that there's a hunting license has been is a barcode in the upper right-hand corner. The barcode will allow state conservation officers to scan the license on their smartphones. And let's check in with meteorologist Dan Zabozian this evening for a preview of our forecast. Dan? Plenty of sunshine outside again today, clear blue skies. And if you thought it was a little bit warm today, you are correct. We actually broke a record right here out at the Re uh, Rapid City Regional Airports. And there we go. We had the old record of 92 degrees set back in 2006. And today we just broke that by one degree. We hit a high temperature of 93 in Rapid City. So yeah, it was a pretty hot day today and temperatures outside right now still in the lower 70s in a few spots towards the east. Rapid City right now sitting at 60. 60 degrees. Sturgis also keeping it warm there. 72 degrees and Spearfish 61 right now and outside across our radar. Uh, not really any rain activity across western South Dakota. A few rain showers moving through Billings. But we still got a couple of rain free days and yes uh, hot temperatures are going to continue in towards your Monday. So we'll break down the seven day forecast after the break. Caroline back to you. All right. Thank you, Dan. Well, today out in that sunshine, a car show in downtown Rapid City with a slight twist. It was the fourth annual British sports car show. Club members say there are a lot of British cars in the Black Hills, but tend to get lost amongst the big American cars when they attend other car shows in the area. So they decided to make a gathering of British cars only. The Wobbly Bobby British Pub gladly hosted the event that brings the classic cars downtown to the alley behind Main Street Square. The older folks, they know what they are. They remember them from their youth. But younger folks, it's something new to them. They don't know much about these cars. This is a chance to meet the owners and learn more about them. And frankly, we want to get the younger generation uh, interested in them because they're the ones that need to keep them going. And it's just a nice venue and it's something for folks to see when they're downtown here. And you also got a chance to cast a vote for your favorite British sports car. There's no shortage of eye candy in the Black Hills. Another car show, Hot Rods and Classics, taking over at Founders Park this afternoon. And look at that one. That's my favorite one right there. The 11th annual Hot Rods and Cool Classic car is put on to support the Shriners Travel Fund. And all of the money allows the Shriners to transport patients across the country. It's a family fun event for a good cause and even heats up with a little competition. It means a lot. Um, I had a nephew that used the Shriners um, to travel to Minneapolis. And uh, so it, it means a lot 
to anyone to help kids out. It's, it gives you a good feeling. It, it, it's a great cause and it, it's needed. The traveling takes away stress from the families and the trophies at today's competition were awarded around 2.30 this afternoon. Storybook Island is kissing summer goodbye and closing their doors for the season. But before doing so, Storybook Island throwing its annual Once Upon a Time Festival. It's hosted every year at the end of summer to celebrate the end of the summer season, featuring a treasure hunt, a jumping castle, and a princess or pirate makeover session. Admission is $2, and all of the funds raised go towards keeping Storybook Island open the rest of the year without charge. It's just important that families have a place where they can come to and be together as a family and all have fun and enjoy it. There's something for everybody here. And the park is now officially closed, but the next event at Storybook Island is coming up on Halloween night. The second debate of the political season is around the corner and the details are ahead in our national news tonight. This is News Center 1 at 10. We'll be right back. This is News Center 1 with Caroline Patrikas and weather with meteorologist Dan Sobosi. It's the grand opening at Simply Sleep Better where you'll find great savings on just the right mattress. Get a queen size Simmons Beauty Sleep Plus Euro Top Mattress set for just $3.99 or experience recharging sleep on a Beauty Rest queen size mattress set with air cool foam and gel touch foam for only $5.99. Plus get two years no interest and a free seven night vacation for two at your choice of locations in the United States or the world with a minimum purchase. Better prices, better advice. Simply Sleep Better. Now at two locations by Rushmore Crossing and on Mount Rushmore Road, Rapid City. Papa Murphy's pizzas are hot. Because you bake all those fresh pizza ingredients in your own oven. And you can taste the difference. When it cools a little, of course. Fill your table with an almost too hot Papa's Perfect Pizza. The best combination of half premium pepperoni, half Hawaiian. Just $9 for a large. Fresh made, fresh baked. Papa Murphy's. Love at 425 degrees. You've certainly put in the effort. You started from scratch and have made something that you want to see last well into the future. Maybe someday you'll call it a legacy. But for now, you've just got to get the bread out, the door open, and the bills paid. Having someone at your side who understands where you've been and where you want to go can make all the difference. Small business success? It's bigger than banking. It's you and I together. It's Ford SUV season. Now just sign and go with zero down, zero do it signing, and zero first month's payment, hassle free. Choose from Ford Escape, Edge, Explorer, and Expedition, every SUV. Ford makes it easier for you to be unstoppable during SUV season. Now lease a four-wheel drive escape for just $2.79 a month with zero down, zero due at signing, and zero first month's payment. Only at your local Ford stores. Our children are so precious. Let's keep them safe every moment. Using safe sleep guidelines can make all the difference. Babies sleep best on their backs, in a safe crib, alone. No bumper pads, toys, pillows, or blankets whenever and wherever baby sleeps. Every sleep time counts. Learn more for baby's sake. This is New Center One. Weather with meteorologist Dan Sabosian. Welcome back, folks. Hope everyone got to enjoy the sunshine. It might have been a little too hot for some folks this late in the year 93. And yeah, that was a record temperature today, uh, beating the old record by a degree there of 92 set back in 2006. Started off right on average in the upper 40s, and we warmed up to, uh, pretty much pretty quickly as you headed out through the afternoon. And here's a look back at the high temperatures across the area. Faith, 95. Phillip, 96. Ellsworth, 94. Pine Ridge, same for you. And spearfish and caster coming in at the mid to upper 80s. Buffalo had a high temperature of 91 degrees. Currently outside right now in Rapid City, 60 degrees. Clear skies, wind out of north northwest, 6 miles per hour. Light winds and clear skies as it's a relatively pleasant evening tonight. And temperatures will only dip to about the mid to upper 50s for those overnight lows. 59 right now in spearfish, clear skies for you. And winds light out of the south, 5 miles per Per hour temperatures across the states. Uh, we're talking about temperatures still. Uh, Faith holding on to 72 degrees 
and Custer 59, Buffalo 64, and Pine Ridge 56 degrees. And we'll put, uh, we'll go towards the satellite radar. So yeah, some clearer conditions and plenty of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. We're expecting more sun for Monday and hot temperatures are going to continue. You can see a few cloudiness towards the west and a couple of rain showers, but we're not expecting any rain activity until the day on Wednesday. And then after that, that's when temperatures are going to take a dip back towards seasonal. So here's the future cast temperatures across the region and we'll zoom off towards tomorrow morning waking up for Monday morning at 8 a.m. Temperatures will be in the 60s around Rapid City, maybe a few upper 50s and the higher elevations. And here's our high temperatures again, 92 degrees to Rapid City. Another hot day across the Black Hills and we'll zoom off towards the day on Tuesday. And yet again, temperatures approaching 90 degrees again, three straight days of 90s, 90s here as we approach the last week of summer. And then you can see some 70s are off towards the west and that's what's going to start filtering in towards the Black Hills as you head in towards the later parts of the week and into the weekend as we have a pretty good uh, temperature change going on here as you head in towards your Wednesday night. And there's that jet stream, the dip in the, in the jet, jet stream. And then when you're ever kind of downstream from that dip, you can expect some rain shower activity to build in. And this jet stream will continue to push in. And Friday will be the uh, coolest day. We're expecting temperatures. A few spots may not get out of the 60s on that Friday afternoon. And then heading towards the weekend, we become kind of zonal and we'll start averaging out and we'll stay around the mid 70s where we should be uh, this time of year, this time of year heading into the weekend. So here's what's uh, future cast, uh, excuse me, future cast radar going into Monday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine expected once again. We'll go with mostly cloudy skies and a few more cloudiness uh, overnight Monday and going into the day on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Expect some cloud cover, but that'll break up as you head towards the afternoon. And we'll go with mostly sunny conditions. And then heading into Tuesday night, you can see some rain shower activity off towards the west. And that's what's going to build into the area overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So here's the forecast for tonight. Overnight temperature 57, mostly clear, pleasant evening tonight to cross Rapid City. And tomorrow's high temperature again, 92 degrees, mostly sunny. And yes, folks, more heat continues Monday and into Tuesday. And those winds out of the east. Black Hills area forecast to start your week on Monday. And uh, hot temperatures, a few clouds, mostly sunny. Winds shifting from west to east throughout the day, 6 to 12 miles per hour. Uh, 91 Newcastle, 87 Spearfish, 88 Belfouche, 87 degrees in Deadwood, 94 degrees down there in Hot Springs. And off towards the east, Dupree and Interior over there coming in at 96 degrees with a sunshine expected across the Badlands. Seven day forecast. We're talking about temperatures uh, changing. Finally, going into Wednesday, there's a chance of scattered rain showers and then cooler Thursday into Friday. And then look at next weekend, folks. That is looking like a great weekend. Temperatures in the 70s and plenty of sunshine both Saturday and into Sunday. Clickbigdeals.com. No offers today. However, always check out clickbigdeals.com as they have coupons for the greatest deals across the Black Hills. All righty. Thank you, Dan. And it looks like we may get that wonderful fall that we all hope for anyway because it's already almost October. Yeah, and they say the drier the September, the better the colors are. Perfect. And we're kind of oh, on that note right speaking now. Speaking of so. colors, Spearfish Canyon colors. It's starting to peak up. Yep. Yep. All righty. Thank you, Dan. Stay with us. National news is coming up right after this short break. Selling the Mitch Mobile? Man, we had a lot of good times in this baby. What your dad want for it? Like 150 grand. You're not gonna tell your dad about the time my hamster had babies in the back seat, are you? That's just normal wear and tear, dude. Subaru has the highest resale value of any brand, according to Kelly Blue Book and Mitch. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Stop in and see us at Courtesy Subaru or at CourtesySubaru.com and check one out today. So we've had a tempur for a while, but now that we have the adjustable base, it's even better. I'm going to go up and... Discover how tempur can move you. It's the grand opening at Simply Sleep Better. Get a free seven-night vacation for two at your choice of locations in the United States or the world with a minimum purchase or a $300 gift with purchase of a tempur set. Plus, get four years no interest. Better prices, better advice. Simply Sleep Better, now at two locations by Rushmore Crossing and on Mount Rushmore Road, Rapid City. Introducing Fast Foods First, all-natural, grass-fed burger with no added hormones, no antibiotics, and no steroids. I just wanna break the the all-natural burger. Make it a large combo for your chance to win great prizes from Hardee's and Bass Pro Shops at Hardee's. 
Proudly display your memories with the help of the perfect hanging gallery. You name it, we can frame it. From memorabilia to family portraits, we'll give your treasures a unique and sophisticated look you'll be proud to show off. Custom framing is our specialty. With such a huge variety of frames and mats, you're sure to find that perfect look. At the Perfect Hanging Gallery, you'll discover antique maps and beautiful artwork from brilliant local artists. Visit the Perfect Hanging Gallery in the lower level of the shops at Main Street Square. Introducing the newest member of the Yamaha off-road family. It thrives in the most remote, rugged terrain. It never steps down from a challenge and travels long distances in search of adventure. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine. It's a whole new animal. Black Hills Power Sports, I-90 service road between exit 60 and 61 in Rapid City. In our national news tonight, the second Republican debate is coming up this week, and for some candidates, this may be their do-or-die moment in the spotlight. Donald Trump is still the front-runner in early voting states, but there are clear signs that Republicans are still shopping around. Brian Moore has our story tonight from Washington. For now, Carly Fiorina is just jabbing at Donald Trump. These are serious times that call for real leadership. Well, Trump is swinging at Ben Carson and just about everyone else. I'll make great deals for this country. Ben can't do that. Carson's taking the high road. Part of the problem is we live in a soundbite society. And Chris Christie's just struggling to get a word in. The but first of all, this but is first a, of all, this wait is wait as big of an appointment as first you make. Of, first of, Come Wednesday, it may well be a free-for-all as 11 candidates take the primetime stage for the critical round two Republican debate. And there'll probably be more elbows thrown at that debate, and you're going to have your hands full. In the latest CBS poll, Trump and Carson are battling for the lead in Iowa, in New Hampshire, and South Carolina. Democrat Hillary Clinton, meanwhile, is getting trounced by Bernie Sanders in Iowa and New Hampshire. At her family's Washington church, she spoke about faith in hard times, but in her mother's life. Because people believed in her, she was able to believe in herself. A softer tone from a candidate facing her own challenges. Brian Moore, NBC News, Washington. And the first Democratic debate is scheduled for October 13th in Las Vegas. In other news, Hungary has been struggling to manage the huge flow of migrants and refugees streaming in Europe from Southern Europe in search of a better life. NBC's Richard Engel reports from Southern Hungary on preparations for a security crackdown along that country's border with Serbia. Things here along the Hungarian border seem to be getting a little bit more organized. People are being lined up to be put on buses. More volunteers have arrived to the area, some more tents, some medical assistance. And for now, the situation is calm. The people come uh, from a long distance. They, are, um, they need a help situation. They need food, they need drinking. Uh, the, the help situation, we can give them medical help. These people, some of them have been waiting for hours, are going to be loaded onto that bus, and there are more buses behind it, and taken to registration camps. But things here could dramatically change in the next coming days. Hungary says it will tighten this border significantly and complete a 100-mile-long border fence. Once that fence is up, Hungary says the security forces, and there are already a lot of security forces here now, will be authorized to use crowd control methods tear gas, rubber bullets, and if their lives are threatened, potentially live ammunition as well. Richard Engel, NBC News, Roske, Southern Hungary. And switching gears tonight, should a defendant charged with property damage solely upon a witness's identification made by the property owner be allowed a court-appointed expert to testify in the inherent weakness of an eyewitness testimony? That was the question in the case of the broken windshield. Should an indigent defendant charged with property damage solely upon a witness identification made by the property owner be allowed a court-appointed expert to testify on the inherent weakness of eyewitness testimony? That was the question in the case of the broken windshield. On the night of the offense, the victim identified two defendants as the persons he believed he had observed breaking his windshield. This identification was made to police at the victim's home after the suspects had been detained by the police based upon a prior description by the victim. At trial, the victim generally testified to the same factual scenario as he did at the suppression hearing. Further, 
he testified that he had identified one of the defendants to the police as one of the persons who had damaged his car, and that he had relied upon his previous out-of-court identification, mainly upon the identical clothes match. The victim, however, would not make an in-court identification of that defendant. The defendant's defense lawyer had contacted a practicing psychotherapist for the purpose of testifying to the general reliability of eyewitness testimony, and specifically the influence of stress, suggestive information, and cross-racial identification upon the victim. Counsel for the defendant believed that if allowed to testify, the psychotherapist would have been able to assist the jury in evaluating the reliability of what the victim believed he had seen, how he had retained that information, and how he had explained the information. The defendant made a motion to appoint an expert witness to testify as to the reliability of the identification of the suspects by the victim. The trial court denied the motion. The defendant was convicted. The defendant appealed and argued he did not receive due process. How would you decide this case? Should the defendant have been allowed an expert to assist in his defense? We'll be back in a moment to answer that question. At Black Hills Federal Credit Union, we've been helping South Dakotans get ahead financially since 1941. We offer a range of services that meet your individual needs, from friendly tellers and knowledgeable lenders to free online bill payment, mobile check deposit, and we're now proud to offer Apple Pay. We're right here with services at your fingertips and strong rates designed to help you make the most of your finances. Black Hills Federal Credit Union. Join the family. I'm trying to get some of this drawn up. All right, cool. You want to do sleep? Yes, sir. All right, yeah, man. I definitely get this drawn up for you. Get it all laid out, and then we can get you set up with an appointment and get you in. Cool. Sounds good. Cool. Well, and I'm glad that you gave me kind of a basis to go off of, but you're letting me do my own thing. I think we'll get a better, pretty cool result out of it. No matter what they say, their art speaks for itself. Wild Idea and Thrash's Tattoo and Piercing Rapid City. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 8. I love working here because... Everybody here is pretty much like family. The staff is amazing. No, I don't have any family here, but they all feel like my grandparents. I learn about their history, their family life. I love to look at all their photo albums they bring out and show me. I feel at home here. Now, while mom resides here at Somerset, I have had such tremendous interaction with the staff. They answer all of my questions directly, find the answers that I need, and I never have to worry. Somerset is Maryland's home. Stop in and see our selection of show homes at Lichty Homes in Blackhawk. See why Lichty Homes is recognized with the prestigious five-star customer service award for commitment and excellence. You're sure to find your dream home at Lichty Homes. Let Lichty Homes build your manufactured or modular home from our many floor plans and options available to suit your needs. Come by Lichty Homes, where we build the home, you create the view. Was the trial court correct in denying the defendant an expert to testify on the reliability of eyewitness testimony? Yes, said the South Dakota Supreme Court. The Supreme Court noted that the defendant did have an investigator appointed at county expense, and that the victim's out-of-court identification was the subject of vigorous cross-examination by the defense lawyer. Finally, the reliability of the identification was not beyond the understanding of a layperson. The jury knew that the crime occurred at night, that it was difficult to see, and that the identification was mainly based on a clothing match, rather than facial appearance. Even though the victim could not make an identification in court of the defendant, expert testimony was not necessary because the evidence was not beyond the understanding of a layperson. Remember, it's a matter of law. And we'll take one final look at your weather after the break, but first, here's today's national scoreboards.
In the beautiful showroom of Legends and Legacies, you'll discover the beauty and craftsmanship of custom, one-of-a-kind furniture and accessory pieces, ranging from handcrafted log furniture, quality western decoratives, custom sofas and chairs, dining sets, and bedroom ensembles. You'll also find complimentary accessories such as rugs, lamps, Native American art, candles, pottery, and lush throws. Visit us today at Paramount Drive in Spearfish. If it's got a red tag on it, it's gone out the door. I'm Elman Crown inviting you to Carl's five-day red tag sale. Floor samples, red tag. Overstock, red tag. Even some scratch and dent items, red tag. You still get full factory warranty and extended finance terms are available for five days only. If it's got a red tag on it, it's got to go. So, yeah, real funny. Carl's, your servicing dealer since 1956. In a world ruled by internet one amazing discovery is about to change everything midco extreme 1.0 up to 60 megabit per second downloads only 34.95 a month for 12 months online is about to go out of this world from the producers of america's fastest internet click happiestdevices.com Find your new job with USA Job TV. Engage with the call center team that makes customers smile. Engage with a job where great benefits are only one of the benefits. Engage with us. We're now hiring for call center positions in Rapid City. Learn more and apply at SynchronyCareers.com. That's S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-Y Careers.com. Or text S-Y-F-14 to 90206. See all Synchrony financial positions at USAJobTV.com. Well, many seasonal businesses are shutting their doors for the fall and winter season, but Reptile Gardens holds on until the end of November, showcasing the bird and snake show. And that's tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. on News Center 1 Today. Anya Mueller takes us to the Reptile Gardens for the details. Of course, that and more bright and early right here on News Center 1. And so, yep, they're getting ready for fall and they're preparing for winter. We already told you about Storybook Island. Yep. So. We'll take a look at that seven-day forecast as temperatures cooling off towards the end of the week and towards next weekend. Alrighty, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Thanks for staying with us on your Sunday night. Have a good night. One, two, three, four, four courses for only $1.29 each. And 